Hello everyone, it is update time. I got five titles here, all Blu-rays, mostly horror. So I just, I just might as well get into the update. All right, so first up, I have Happy Death Day to You. Decided to pick this one up because I had reviewed uh, their first film for the Horror Man Slashback Challenge a couple weeks ago. And people started talking a, a fair bit about this one. Um, I actually enjoyed this one much more than the first film, even though this one is less of a horror film than the first film. This one was really good fun. It's kind of a more Back to the Future type vibe than the first one. There still is slasher elements, but they're, they're pushed to the back in this one. Um, I did enjoy this one. It looked like they were doing some world building in this. There's even like a post credit sequence, but this one didn't do as well, so I'm assuming this is probably the last film in this series. So that's Happy Death Day to you. All right, next up we have Trapped Alive, and uh, I got this one at Cinema One. I probably should have waited, but I sometimes I get really impulsive. I ended up ordering some stuff from the Arrow uh, Half Off, or Buy One, Get One free sale that they had, which I think just ended. Um, I just went on the site the other day, just as, and I possibly bought some stuff. I probably should have just got this off of that sale, because I could have saved some money on it. But sometimes I'm instant gratification, and got to have it in my hands right there as opposed to waiting for it to come in the mail. So uh, I think this one is very similar to Raw Meat with uh, these people being chased around in the tunnels by a cannibal or something like that or a cave or something. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. It looks like it might be a good cheesy fun. All right. Next up we have Night of the Creeps and this is the Scream Factory release. My buddy Grant the Horror Fan Man had picked up uh, the Eureka release for me. I thought this one was going to be a new transfer, but it isn't. So I'm really curious uh, to compare both editions to see which one's the better edition. I think the Eureka release has different special features than the uh, Scream Factory release. I do like this artwork, though. I didn't spring for the, uh, the action figure version, but I do like that slip cover they have for that one as well. It's really, really nice artwork on that, but didn't want to spend the extra money. So that's Night of the Creeps. All right, next up we have Bed of the Dead. This is a Canadian film, this is from Black Fawn, and this is from the makers of the films Bite and Let Her Out. And I did like both of those films. Um, this film is essentially about these four, uh, these four people that get on this bed at this sex club, and they're planning to have like a four-way. And it turns out that the bed is cursed, and whenever someone steps off the bed, they die in horrible ways. Um, this one's actually really good. At first when I started watching it, I wasn't really enjoying the film, and, but it grew on me as I was watching it. I originally thought this was going to be a remake to the 1977 film uh, titled uh, uh, Deathbed, which was filmed in Detroit, but this one isn't. The cool thing about this release, though, is they do acknowledge that film, and there's a documentary about that film on this release which is pretty cool i do have that film i never got around to watching it but now i have to watch it because that movie looks really really nutty so that's a uh, bed of the dead and last up we have the 4k steelbook release of glass and this is a best buy exclusive um i've been trying to get away from buying steelbooks but this one was so cheap and it was a 4k release normally like uh, 4k steelbooks uh, in canada are really expensive they go for around like over $40 and this one was priced at $22 so it was 50% off and they only had one copy and I'm thinking well I really do like this artwork I know I've heard mixed things about this one but I wanted to just have it just just on 4k and trying to get as many 4ks as possible but it's been slow going I don't think you can have 10 yet but um what are we gonna do all right guys that's my haul thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all next time